Let's talk about bitmap halftones and how to use the bitmap function of Photoshop to enhance your artwork and make it a little more simplified so that you can color separate it with ease. So let's get started. So I have a couple elements here that I'm going to convert to halftones and show you the different things you can do with them. Uh, let's start with this circle here, this blurry circle. So if I take that and I copy that to a new file, paste it, I'm going to change it to grayscale, and then I'm going to change it to bitmap. And here's where you want to change your dot size and angle and shape. So let's make it a big dot. So you want to have a small number to get a big dot. So let's try 10, and then let's do a line. So that gives us this halftone effect. And then we can go back to grayscale. Go to our channels and load our channel. Select inverse, fill, and now we have a halftone circle. So we can get rid of this one and put this one here instead. So next I'm going to show you how to go about creating this halftone gradient right here. So we're going to make a new channel and fill it with white. And we're going to load this layer to get a selection of it. And we're going to make a gradient from one end to the other. Okay. You're going to deselect, copy that to a new file. You're going to change it to bitmap. And this time, let's get a really high frequency. So we're going to have small dots. So we're going to go 55 LPI with a ellipse shape. Okay. So that's giving us a really fine gradation here. Let's go back to grayscale. And then we're going to copy this. And we're going to paste it here. And then we're going to load it by command clicking on it. And we're going to make a new layer. Grab that red. Select inverse. Fill. And then we can load. We can go back to this, grab the blue, load this, and make a new layer with just blue. Okay? And then we'll put this halftone on top. And as you can see, we've got a nice gradation here of red to blue, and they're kind of mixing in the middle to make that purple tone. So next we'll do the flag in the car, and so what I'm thinking is we'll do a solid red with like a halftone black on top of it, and I think that'll give us some really cool details. So let's take off these other layers here, and we'll just work with the flag in the car. So what you're going to need is a couple masks. So you're going to go to color range and let's grab the reds. So let's adjust our levels here. This will be our flat red. And then we're going to want a detail red also. So looking in these channels here, you can see the red channel on the RGB has all of this detail here. So let's use that. Let's make a copy of that. We'll load our mask. We'll select inverse and delete everything else. So now we have this mask and this mask. Let's invert it here to make it look similar. So first we'll take our red mask, our flat red. We'll copy and paste it. Convert it to bitmap. And this time we'll do a 45 LPI instead of a 55 for a little bit bigger dot than the gradient. Okay, we're going to go back to grayscale. Copy, paste. We'll do the same for the detail. Copy, new file, bitmap, halftone, 45. Image mode, 
grayscale. Copy and put it back. Okay, so now we're going to have our first layer of solid red. Let's get this flag out of here. And another layer of the detail. And let's make that black. Okay. Now, let's do the same for the blue. So we'll go back to our car and our flag. Select color range, blue. We'll make a flat one here. And then we will grab from the blue channel here in the RGB. We'll copy that and use our mask to delete everything else. Okay. So we'll copy this one and make a bitmap out of it. Okay, bring that back over here. Didn't quite copy over. Let's see. There we go. So now we have our flat blue. Convert it to bitmap. Back to grayscale. And paste. Select all, copy. Select all, paste. There it goes. So then we're going to have our new layer. Let's grab our blue. Load the flat blue. Fill. Make another layer. Load the detail blue. Fill. Select inverse fill. So now we have the flag red and the flag blue. So now we just need to create the gray in the car. So we're going to go to our car and we're going to take the channel that has the most detail. They all look about the same. So we'll just copy that to a new file, change it to bitmap, change it back to grayscale, copy and paste. Okay, and then we can load that and we will select inverse fill and then we'll load our whole mask here of the car and just put a white behind it so now we have that the red over it the red detail the blue the blue detail Now it's looking like a little something more workable for a separation. So let's get rid of these guys. Now I'm going to show you how to go about separating this into four colors and uh, it should be pretty basic. So let's set up our channels here. Base white. Spot color 100%. We'll do a red 20%. Blue 
20% and black 100% And then we'll do a gray background. We'll fill that background with solid color. So let me show you now that it's been converted to all bitmap halftones, how quickly you can color separate this. So let's say you want to find the reds. You're going to go to color range red click OK fill adjust levels to make sure everything's 100 percent reds done color range blues fill adjust levels done to get your black channel, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the background and you're going to flatten it, change it to CMYK, and here is your black. Copy and paste that, adjust your levels. That's how you get your black. Now for your white channel or your underbase, you're going to want to change your background to black. Then flatten it. Select all, copy, paste, invert, adjust your levels, bring everything up to 100. And then you have your completed separation. Everything's already in half tones. You don't need RIP software to print this, and it's a nice stylized version where you're not going to be having these faded edges and uh, half tones in the car that are going to cause you problems. So everything is all spot color, 100%, ready to go. So that's about it. If you have any questions about bitmaps or half tones, leave them in the comments below, and I will try to answer them, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.